Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to take a close look at this deadbolt right over here to see why the key will not turn or be removed from the lock. A good friend of mine called me up to see if I could get the key out of this lock so they could insert theirs to open the door to their rental unit. Needless to say, they just threw out a bad tenant, so I have a very good idea what they did. Luckily, I was able to enter the apartment another way. Once inside, I removed the deadbolt so I could take it with me to inspect it very closely. Now, as you can see, the key does have play in and out. So the person did not just take a key, insert it with crazy glue inside this lock. So it does move. And now what I need to do is figure out why it went in and does not come out. I've seen something like this before. And what the person did is they took a key and they took a blank and they just made a notch right where the pin would be, either here or on the end. And the purpose of that, as you can see, as this goes inside of a lock, the pins will ride up and down. And when you pull the key out, it'll ride up and down to be removed. If there's a deep cut groove going straight down, when you remove the key, the pin will not be able to ride up any ramp to have the key removed. And I have a very good feeling that's exactly what's going on inside this lock. The only way to salvage a lock like this once it happens, you're going to have to cut off this key with a Dremel. I'm going to cut it just right after where it goes into the keyway. It has to be small enough here to match the face where the keyway is because it's going to be slid through this as you can see right here. Once I cut that off, I'm going to open this lock and show you what's going to happen next. Okay, here you can see the key's been cut off, the top part. That was right on there. And you can see I cut off this little piece right here, laying on there. That was hanging over onto this plate preventing this whole part from sliding through. So now that that's done, the next step, turn this around, and let's unscrew this. Now, this fix is only going to work on certain locks. If it's a really cheap lock, more than likely, you're going to have to throw it away because the spring chambers, which I'll show you in a minute, do not have a top cap allowing you to remove all the pins. So let me just see if this is off. Yep, and this one. A little dry. Let me go a little bit more. Okay, that should be good. This is not, there it is. All right, so now you see I can go like this. And now if the head of the key was on, you would not be able to do that. So let's take that out. Put that down for a minute. Okay, I have my pinning tray all ready. This only has five pins this lock, so I'll be using one through five. The face of the lock over here is pin one, and the inside of the lock, very deep, is pin five. First thing I want to do is pop this off. Take this all the way off. Now if your lock is less expensive and it does not have a cap like you see right here, allowing access to those spring chambers, you're pretty much done. You're going to have to throw the lock away if somebody does that to your lock. If you do have this, the next step, you're going to have to pry this cap off. Let me just loosen this a little bit off camera, it's easier because I have the camera right in front of my face. I pry gently on one side to get it loose. When I'm done doing that, I'll come right back. Okay, now right here, you can see the cap is off. You can see each one of the springs, so we're gonna remove each one. And you can see the top pin is attached. Put that on number five, top, four, three, 
two, and one. Now the next thing I want to do, I'm going to look inside, and I can see all the pins. I'm just going to hold my finger over the first four, and allow the fifth pin to drop out. Right there, it's going to be hard to see. That's the fifth pin. Put that right there, that's the bottom pin. Now I'm going to hold the first three, allow the fourth to fall out. Now I'm going to allow number three to fall out. Very important, these go back in the exact same order, otherwise your key, the original key, won't work. So let's turn it to the second one now. Getting very close. Right there. That's a long pen, it's a deep cut. Number two. And the last one. All right, so now they're all out. Now we should be able to pull that key out, as well as the whole plug. Very nice plug. Yale locks make pretty good locks. And there you go, look at that. That's what they did. They cut a notch right in it, and that caused, let's see which pins. Yep, it caused these two pins right here to fall in that spot, not allowing this to come out. Let me put this back together now. Okay, let's reinsert the pins. That's the front of the keyway. And this is one, two, three, four, five. Sometimes there's a sixth hole drilled, allowing you to make this a six pin. Let me grab the pin right here. And let's very carefully do this. Okay. Four. Three. That's the deep cut number two. And number one. That's the exact same order they were removed. Now I'm going to put the plug back inside of here. All right. Everything's lined up perfect. And I'm going to angle it. And everything is lined up pretty good. Let's take number five, drop it in. Let's take number four. That one in. Three. They're all lined up. Two. Reaching around the camera, not easy. And one. Okay, so they're all in. And you can see the varying heights of the springs because the lower pins are varying sizes from small to large. Okay, now let me place the cap back on. Okay, it's all back together here. All I did was squeeze this tighter before I placed it on, pushed it down hard, it popped into place. And you can see how nicely that is. And that's just right. Now I'm gonna place this groove on the Yale lock facing up towards this notch and put this clip back on. It's all back together. The retaining clip, spring chamber. I'm going to take this right here, slide it in. Looks good. Let's put the plate right there. Leave it a little loose so I get the other one in.
And, and that is it. This lock is ready to be reinstalled and it should work just as good as it did before they jammed it up. Now you know exactly what you have to do in the event somebody does this to one of your locks so you could save your lock. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to rate thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you very much for watching.